The kettlebell swing is the most popular kettlebell exercise. And in this video, I'm gonna give you the official kettlebell swing checklist in order for you to master this powerful exercise. But before we get started, I want you to join our free 50K giveaway. Get a chance to win lifetime access to our online kettlebell courses valued over $2,000. Link is in the description. Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von der Bistakia. The kettlebell swing can be done in many ways. There are a couple of styles that you want to engage in depending on your intent or your goal. The swing that I want to focus on in this video is a hand-to-hand -hand swing. We have been teaching the hand-to-hand -hand swing to people from all around the world for years now. And I believe it gives you the most bang for your buck. The hand-to-hand -hand swing is a hybrid between strength and endurance. It can be likened to rock climbing. The important movement pattern that you'll see is a so-called hinge style variation. You have to use moderate muscular tension, but also moderate muscular relaxation. You have to understand when to contract, but you also have to understand when to relax. It is usually done with moderate to heavy weights, depending on your fitness level, and you wanna engage into higher reps and less rest. This is what a hand-to-hand -hand swing looks like. Let's dismantle the exercise step by step. Let's talk about the setup first. I have a half a meter distance to the kettlebell. I hinge with a straight back, pushing the hips back. Knees are unlocking. Now I grab the kettlebell with one hand, tilt it towards me so that the base is off the floor. Now, if you want to swing with a thumbs up, or a thumbs back variant is preference. Here comes the propulsion phase. From this position, I pull the kettlebell with a lot of momentum between my legs so that my arm makes contact with the body. This is what we call the ABC, arm body connection. As the arm connects with my body, I wanna build up tension, screw my shoulder blades downwards, feel my lat engaging, and now I hip thrust the weight upwards with the energy that's coming from my posterior chain. Boom. As soon as this hip extension is finished, bam, the energy transfers from my posterior chain into my arms. That's why it is crucial that your arm doesn't want to leave your body before the hip extension is finished. Otherwise, the energy that's coming from behind will not be transferred into your arm and you will be swinging with your arm and become arm dominant. Now, as the hip extension is finished, boom, and the kettlebell starts flying, it reaches its apex approximately on chest level. And before it reaches its apex, I wanna switch hands. Now my upper body is in a slightly kyphotic position and my hips and my knees, these two joints are locked. Now gravity sets back in and the kettlebell drops and I wait for my arm to reconnect with my body. I want to re-engage into the ABC, arm body connection. As soon as I feel the connection, this is where I want to go back into the hinge, what we call a backswing, and my ghost hand is swinging with it. Imagine the kettlebell swing is like a vertical jump. And what do you do in a vertical jump? You use both of your hands for additional momentum. And that's exactly what you want to do with a swing as well. So your leading hand, your ghost hand, is always gaining additional momentum. An advanced technique that I use in this hybrid hand-to-hand -hand swing is this cross-body stabilization and activation. We also call it the foot kick technique. If I am swinging with my right hand and the hip extension is finished, I lift my right foot off the floor to increase the duration my arm is connected to the hip. And as the kettlebell comes back, I'm lifting my other foot up to make sure that this arm body connection happens as fast as possible. And then the cycle starts again. This cross body stabilization means this part of your body is active because you grab the kettlebell in this hand, even though you don't want to be too arm dominant and not build too much tension, but it is still active. And the other side of your body, the contralateral side, is 
engaging in this propulsion phase. So it's like that cross in your body. This thing is working, and as soon as I'm switching sides, this side is working. Let's check out the most common mistakes. Mistake number one is missing the setup and starting like this. Always think about that this half a meter distance is a setup, which means this is your first rep. Mistake number two happens at the end. So as the kettlebell drops, people fall and lose tension like a bag of rice. This might cause injury. I want to do a proper stoppage. Looks like this. Stop. Just like the setup is your first rep of the exercise, a proper stoppage is the last rep of the exercise. Mistake number three is being too arm dominant. So people are essentially swinging the weight with their arms. Then it looks like this. So no hip engagement. And they are just swinging the bell up and down with their arms. This is not the way to do it. The reason is a most common problem that people experience throughout the world. They have glute amnesia because they sit all day. Push the hips forward, squeeze the glutes, engage your biggest muscles that you have so that you transfer this type of swing, arm dominant, into this. The final most common mistake that I see people do is as the kettlebell drops back down. They are hinging too early because they are instinctively afraid of the weight that's falling between the legs. In that case, again, your arm is taking the brunt of the weight as well as your back. You have to correct this by waiting until the arm reconnects. Don't be scared of the weight. The arm has to reconnect and then I'll go back into the hinge. Here's a proper workout protocol for the hybrid hand-to-hand -hand swing. Beginners, you want to do the exercise for 30 seconds, maybe two to three, maximum of five sets, and see how your body reacts. You will most definitely feel it in your lower back, even if you do it the right way, because the lower back is the weakest link in the chain, so be careful. In between the sets, you want to use as much rest as possible. If you've gotten a little bit more advanced, up the ante to one minute of the exercise, maybe four, five, maybe six, seven sets. Again, use as much rest as needed. And if you're getting proficient with the exercise, do two minutes and a couple of sets, maybe three to four, and see again how your body reacts. Once you've gotten the fundamentals down pat, there's only one thing that you need, reps and consistency. So here's the next thing that you have to do. You have to like the video, consider subscribing, share with a friend, and then go watch this video. If you're just getting started with kettlebells, I mean, you might want to check out the basic exercises that you can do with the kettlebell that are even more simpler than the hand-to-hand -hand hybrid swing. And these exercises are right here in this video. So go watch it right now.